to another best build order for Vorazoom. I will be doing DT Corsair. Pretty much the best build that you're ever going to get. We'll do 14 gas. A rally just right there so you don't mess with any of the workers that are currently doing their thing. This guy over here. Have him hang out for a second. You can put him back to work and just rally the, that other pro, but I might as well do it that way. Then we're going to do a 16 gateway. So this is the one map... Yeah, pretty much the one map where you can't go directly into your... I like to do a 16 gateway, by the way. Uh, makes more sense economically to do a 17, but things line up a little bit easier for you if you do a 16 gateway. This is the only mi mission where you can't go straight to your rocks uh, because the enemy just shows up so quickly. Uh, so you're going to drop your shadow guard right on top of the enemy over here. Anyways, at this point, you can make a forge if you want to. Um, if you know you're going up against a ground comp and you just want to do that, or you're like doing specific speed runs where you just need to make nothing but DTs. But I prefer to do the pylon. Uh, just makes it so you don't have to worry about a pylon later on. As soon as that finishes, you want to get into your Twilight Council. No, Cybernetic Core. Blech. As soon as you get 21 here, I'm going to rally the first one to just stop there. We're going to see what the enemy comp is very soon. But like I said, we're going to drop our DTs here and then we'll round them all the way over here. Here. Next one, just go rally actually to the rocks or to the minerals. So I don't have to worry about changing my rally point later. These. Very nice of him. Gonna make sure I stay on top of all of my production. Gonna make sure this as soon as that's done. Go ahead and get our Dark Shrine. And I'll just send these guys out here to do that. Now while that's building, I'll get another gateway. Get everything rallied here. And now we're going to go ahead and just finish everything. Now usually just time stop right away. Uh, but I'll wait until he gets out there. Actually, there's nothing to do right now. It just lines up your rest of your time stops a little bit more. There's really no point in using it later on. I'm going to make sure that I get the Shadow Strike immediately, and I'll Chrono Boost that. Well, I guess I'll just time stop for this next attack wave. Anyways, it's an air comp, so I'm going to actually go a little bit quicker into my Stargates than I normally would. Normally I'd spend a little bit more time getting up to like 4 or 5 Dark Templar before I got into my Stargate tech. Uh, but because it's an air comp, I'm getting there a little bit faster. That should be the last probes I need. Put everyone together for him. And I want to make sure uh, that I get my heat breaking as soon as possible. And then after that, I'm going to make sure I continue to get the rest of my upgrades for my air units. And those are the, really the only upgrades that I really work, work on in regards to like attack or defense upgrades. It's really the only one I worry about. Everything else, um, you really have enough DPS without it. And now I'm really going to start working on the rest of my units. And then we'll TS as soon as this, we finish this. You gotta keep make sure that you don't get supply blocked. 
I'd like to have my Corsairs on their own control group. As it really does help. Move those guys there. Make sure I get my... Okay, he doesn't want to help. Make sure you put your Corsairs on their own control group so you can control them a little bit better. I like to get the Cloak upgrade first, and then the other, then the Disruption Web, and I like to get Blink for my DTs. But DTs on one control group, Corsairs on another. So I'm going to go ahead and attack in. Got my Shadow Guard. And then I'll just take the Corsairs around. And see what air units I can take out. Kind of prioritizing the ones that I feel would do a little bit more damage. And I'm going to get those Corsairs out of there. DTs out of there as well. For a second. So we have a good amount of damage here. And good. Get some more attack upgrades. And now we're going to have a lot of extra minerals. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch of pylons because there's really no point in not making them right now. Back. And once we're done with that, I'm going to make a forge, so that I can, might as well camp the location that all the enemies are going to be coming from, with cannons, because you have all this extra minerals and you might as well put it to work. Again, Corsairs on their own, DTs on another control group. And continue to get the air attack upgrades. Uh, you can also get the stasis calibration so that you can do some extra damage to units while they're in the stasis. Not absolutely necessary, but, you know, it's a fun upgrade to get. And really, we're done with everything we need to get in regards to upgrades, besides the rest of the air attack upgrades. I'm going to have this probe come on over here. We'll do one dark pylon pylons behind it and we'll get some cannons because it's nice giving yourself a little extra time plus I'll have this pylon to warp back to set up and black hole is tremendous for stuff like that Change my rally point to this location just in case we need to do something. We got a TS, we can use that to take care of this. Uh, one of the cool things you can do with Borazun is because you have Shadow Strike, you can move in, Shadow Strike, and then blink away. I really want to use. Do the same thing again. Shadow strikes off cooldown. Break away. I'm wait for those. Go ahead and drop that. Okay, I'm pull the Corsairs away. Should have an oracle. And now we can kind of stop over here. I'm just going to grab everybody for a second. Pull my Corsairs to another control group and then my oracle to its own. So go ahead and Shadow Strike. Kind of stop. Blink in. And I try to control the Corsairs to get exactly what I want done. While I continue to warp in with units. I have a lot of extra minerals, so we'll do this. You don't need to watch that attack because it's hor you're, in, you're in the middle of a time stop. You're not really going to be dealing with too much that you can't deal with. Pull back the Corsairs so they don't die. Make sure you continue to work, warp in units. Go ahead and grab this. And that. And 
here. Black hole. That's gonna finish that. There. Frammento del vuoto eliminato. Continuate così. You select the army to grab everybody I need, and then put them all in their own patrol groups. Make sure everybody's together before I move out. Again, watching everything I can to make sure that I get everything. You can start working on era armor upgrades, but not really necessary. Again, I'm going to move in first with my DTs. Shadow Strike. Go back. And move everything else in. So it is three separate A moves in order to do this optimally, but it does save you from dealing with a lot of other things and having a lot of extra heartache because you moved in too much. Back for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and move my DTs away. I'm gonna move them. I'm gonna go ahead and black hole this guy. Go ahead and grab that. Grab some more stuff, and I still have my oracles. I want to change the rally point over here. Yeah, and I'll leave it over here. Again, moving in with the DTs. And then attack move so they can get that. And then pull back. And these guys. Same thing again because it's off cooldown. Back. Go ahead and move over here. It's gonna kill all that. We already cleared most of this. Oop, pull those guys back. We'll move these guys out. Move these guys in. Again, we'll go ahead and shadow strike. And then we'll time stop. Change the rally point. Then we're going to try to. Prioritize units that can do the most damage to us. And that's really about it. DTs basically take care of themselves, so it's not like something you have to worry about. Corsairs are the ones you kind of want to micro a little bit more. The only thing you really need to do with DTs is put them micro. And that's actually not even that big of a deal. And then I have oracles if I need them, but I try to keep them on their own control groups so they don't just suicide in. Maybe eventually if they ever get the ability to get cloak, you won't have to do that, but um, for now I like to make sure that I don't lose them for absolutely no reason. That's it. Um, make sure that... You just immediately climb up the tech tree as fast as possible. Depending on what kind of enemy comp you go up against is how many DTs you make before you get your Stargates. As soon as your Stargates finish, you want to try your best to get to a Fleet Beacon so that you can get Cloak and Disruption Web uh, so that you can get the most out of your Corsairs. And Corsairs benefit the most from Black Hole of any unit because everything just gets into a small ball and they have a great AoE attack. Anyways. That was Forzin. Thanks so much for watching.